guys um i know it's been oh, like a, a year that i haven't posted um i'm healing i healed quite nicely after a year um of my breast surgery um and my i did lipo 360. unfortunately i did gain most of the weight on my back like on my upper back when i gained i gained about 10 pounds but now i am in prep i will be competing after getting all these uh enhancements to make me more confident i'm not saying that these are enhancements you should get if you want to compete that's really up to you um it should only come from your decision this is just my experience everything that you do should be consulted with your doctor with you know yourself your spouse um but for me i went on several years after having my children with a pooch that i competed my first time and it still wouldn't go away that really um defeated my confidence um my posing was horrible like just overall i did not like the experience um i got the experience which i don't regret but i didn't like it. um fast forward a year after my competition two years after my competition i decided to get a tummy tuck and if you guys want to look at my other videos you can um see what i went through with my tummy tuck so um my tummy tuck was done in 2018 so fast forward four years and i am healing quite nicely <laughs> and i i say healing because it's always a process um as you can see my scar is i am hispanic so my ethnicity makes it a little darker um but I mean it's mostly like some areas it's not everything like some of this is like i would just say right here is where it's noticeable um and as you can see everything looks really good um and then my breast augmentation uh, i can't really show you guys but um in my videos i say i got 265 on one and 295 on the other one. They're pretty small right now in prep. I was a C cup after my surgery. Now I'm probably um, down to a 36B, which I don't mind because I worked out a lot, but I still feel feminine. Um, with the projection that you gave me, I'm able to, you know, stand up straight and look good without feeling, you know, um, like top heavy or anything like that. These are perfect. Dr. Z did an amazing job. Um, anyways, so I am getting ready for my next show. I am currently, tomorrow's gonna be 10, no, nine weeks out. Um, what I am struggling with is a lot of water retention. Ever since I got these surgeries, um, my lymphatic system gets stuck and um i really need to get a massage to get this all going i retain a lot of water um which is the only downside that i've seen from these surgeries uh so anyways uh i will be posting one full day of eating which is really really bland at this time um but you know as it's you guys can see how everything's kind of changing and i'll post some of my cardio right now i'm doing cardio six days a week for 40 minutes and then before that i gotta do 10 minute hit so it's it's a lot but if you're interested in following me on instagram um you can find the link below and follow my journey on instagram as well um it's just so you guys can see how I get a lot of messages about your stomach looks so good. Um, first things first, I was training for, let's say 
five years before I got my stomach done. So I had really little fat around my stomach. So it's not like I had my son and went and ripped everything out. Second of all, um, right after I was given the green light to train, um, I did train my abs. And then second of all, um, I just maintained a good diet for a while. I did fall off the bandwagon, but um, I'm, my body has muscle memory so from doing it so long that when I get back into it, I, you know, I immediately go back. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, you can comment below, follow me on Instagram, um, anything else I can help you with. Love